you know that whole uh, trope, I guess, I don't know what you would call it, where there's the nice friend and there's the mean friend and the mean friend kind of advocates for the nice friend and fusses at her about how she deserves better and she should expect more. I get it. It's cute. You know, ha ha. I'm the mean friend. But after a while, it becomes exhausting. It becomes exhausting to know this person deserves so much more in life. And for whatever reason, they just don't want it. And you just have to kind of sit there and witness that. It's one of the reasons I have to be super selective with the people that I choose to be friends with. Because if you're that type of person who's just like, whatever, you accept whatever, come what may, it is what it is. Then, don't get me wrong, I'm not like boss, babe, girly pop or anything like that, you know. Um, but I am highly ambitious. And once I set a goal, put my mind to something, I'm going to get it done. I'm going to do what I have to do. I have boundaries and I advocate for myself. And if you are not at that point in your life, then my life is going to shine a light in your face that you're going to hate. And as I'm pulling you up, eventually you're going to start, start, uh, going to start trying to pull me down so that the light isn't as bright. And this is not to villainize, you know, kind of go with the flow people. I've had my journey. There are just some people who just don't want to make waves. They don't want to cause trouble. Any kind of opposition or con conflict or anything is drama to them and they don't, they stay away from it. But I remember having a friend years ago, she was in a dead end marriage, still is, working at a job where she's been there for decades and hasn't moved forward. And I would always say, "You, I can't believe your husband did this. You deserve this. You deserve that. You should look for a job elsewhere. You'll make, you make more money somewhere else. And da, 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 da. And for years, she would just kind of, yeah, you know. And the further I went towards the things I wanted and bettering myself, the further she went away from me to the point where she didn't even want to hang around me anymore. Um, and once I started making big leaps towards my goals, she just stopped talking to me altogether, literally like clockwork. So that whole idea of the, the mean friend, friend and the nice friend, it's cute to an extent. And in those situations, you just got to be mindful. One, you can't force people to do anything that you don't want to do. So you have to be careful that you're not going overboard and you're not stressing yourself out to try to make this person believe that they deserve better or to make this person do things that they just want to that they just don't want to do because that's where you're wrong. And if you're not careful, you can become a bully to that person. And if you are not careful, that other person can become a bully to you because then they'll start to become passive aggressive and they'll start to try to dim your light and they'll start to try to put you down to pull you to where they are and where they want to stay in life. Sometimes I feel like we are friends with people just for the sake of having friends or we want a certain quantity of friends and we're not paying attention to the quality of those friends it's okay to realize you guys just don't gel you guys just don't have anything in common it's okay it's okay to understand that sometimes people grow apart you know maybe y'all became friends at a certain era in your life and y'all are no longer in that era sometimes you grow past people but if you find yourself turning into a crazy person trying to force this person to better themselves it's a losing battle because you can't make people do things that they don't want to do and it will start to hold you back and you have to understand you can't you can't take everybody with you as you move throughout your life and different times in your life sometimes you have to let people go and it doesn't make you a bad person and it doesn't make them a bad person it's just life Sometimes we grow out of people. It's just a part of life. And that's okay. And that's okay. Know when it's time to let people go. There's this saying, you know, sometimes people are in your life for a season. Learn to recognize when the season is up. 
Learn to recognize when you're just beating a dead horse. Learn to recognize when the clothes just don't fit no more, it ain't working, the friendship ain't shipping no more. Know when to let people go. It's okay.